Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a webinar on understanding energy efficiency regulations in India. My name is Pragati, and I'll be your moderator for this session. I hope I am audible and a screen is visible to all. Please react with a thumbs up if it is audible. Before we dive into our agenda for today, I'd like to take a moment to emphasize the significance of energy efficiency in our lives. Energy efficiency isn't just about saving electricity or reducing utility bills. It's about making smarter choices to conserve resources and protect our environment. Whether it's optimizing our use of appliances at home or implementing energy saving technologies in industries, Every small step towards energy efficiency contributes to a more sustainable future. Today, we are here to explore how energy efficiency regulations in India play a crucial role in this journey. Now, let's move on to the agenda for today's webinar. Today, we will delve into the landscape of energy efficiency in India, exploring its significance and impact on sustainability. Next, we will be discussing on the standard and labeling scheme, uncovering its role in promoting energy efficient products. Then we will navigate you through broad spectrum of products covered under its umbrella, followed by the PWE certification process. We will discover key compliance measures within the standard and labeling scheme. And then we will talk about India's remarkable strides in solar energy as we discuss the latest development shaping its sustainable future. We will explore the significance of Winkular in facilitating energy efficiency certification and driving transformative change across industries. Now, let me introduce the speaker. We have Ms. Medha Bhatt, a compliance specialist in Winkler, since she comes with over five years of experience in the industry. Medha has emerged as a trusted partner for numerous renowned brands, assisting them in navigating the complexities of compliance effortlessly. Welcome, Medha. The stage is yours. Thank you, Pragati. It was amazing to see how you kickstart the show. So, all right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Let me start the webinar by quoting an interesting fact. Did you know that the energy generation sector is responsible for approximately 73% of global greenhouse gas emissions? From this stat, you must have understood the need of transition to renewable energy sources to fight with the climate change. The electricity generation sector not only contributes to climate change, but also poses challenges such as demand supply imbalances and economic downturns. But in the midst of this crisis, there is a glimmer of hope. Many countries are taking proactive measures to address energy challenges and limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. In this regard, India, as one of the most populous countries, is leading the charge towards sustainable energy efficient solution from shifting to electric vehicles or to embracing green hydrogen and ethanol blending for fueling. India is harnessing renewable energy sources like few like solar, wind, and waste to energy. Additionally, the country is implementing and raising awareness about energy efficiency scheme, which resulted quite successful, including PET, which stands for Perform, Achieve, and Trade, then comes standard labeling of appliances and the Ujala scheme, which is an LED based domestic efficient lightning program. So in today's webinar, we will dwell on the significance of the star labeling scheme in India's energy transformation. Now let's move on to the next slide. 
so back in 2006 india's population were growing which accelerated the demand for electronic devices and appliances remember those big phones and bulky tvs they were awesome but they drank up energy like crazy the bureau of energy efficiency saw this and knew something had to change so they came up with a super helpful sticker the BEE star label. It was not anything fancy, just a sticker with star labels. More stars meant the appliance used less energy, saving your money on your electricity bill and helping the earth too. The BEE star label has been a superstar, helping India save tons of energy even with more people using electronics. It's like uh, saving enough electricity to power millions of homes. So next time you are shopping for a new appliance, look for those guiding stars to save money and the planet. Therefore, basically this scheme operates on two key fronts, standard and the labeling. So let me let me uh, let you understand both these aspects with an example by using common household appliances. That is the refrigerator. It undergoes testing according to the set IS 17550 standards, which determines its energy efficiency value based on the receive uh, receive test value or efficiency value. The refrigerator is given the star rating. So let's move on to the next slide, please. So till now, we are aware about the scheme from consumers' point of view. But question is, what those entities are who are getting impacted from it? Or we can say, who must follow the regulations from the industry side? The simplest answer is, Indian manufacturer, importers, or traders of the consumer products are impacted from the scheme. I'll repeat, it is Indian manufacturers, importers, or traders of the consumer products are impacted from the scheme. So if you are any one of them, you are liable to comply your product under the, sense, under the standard set by the BEE. Again, the question comes, what those products are which impact from it? So before jumping into that, let me tell you, you that products under the schemes covered in two categories. First one is the mandatory appliance and second is the voluntary appliance. Under the mandatory appliance category, there are 16 products and under the voluntary appliance category, there are 22 products. So in total, there are uh, about 38 products covered under the scheme till date. So our next slide shows the glimpse of few products like AC. Basically, all types of ACs covered here, ranging those from use for the household, commercial use, then comes the refrigerator. Refrigerators like side-by-side -side refrigerators, multi-door refrigerators, direct cold refrigerators, and frosty refrigerators comes under the scope. Then comes the deep freezers. Then the televisions of different resolutions. In the next slide, you can have an outlook of complete list of mandatory products. And products in the next slide are, are the products which comes from the voluntary products. So these are the products impacted from BEE standard and labeling scheme. Let's explore the step-by-step -step process applicants need to follow to ensure their product comply. Starting with the company registration process, this is the initial step in initiating the process involves setting up an online portal. 
the applicant is required to comply compile a specific set of documents to facilitate this this portal will serve as a central hub for all subsequent steps and activities required for the process then comes the testing as per the be prescribed standards the performance testing must be conducted here testing or test report is referred as performance testing and performance test report the testing process can be run parallelly along with the company registration process to save time next is the model registration process following the completion of the above stated preceding steps the applicant is responsible for facilitating the online submission of tested models accompanied by test reports sample star labels and additional required documentation then comes the aftermath process once the required models are registered with bee first is the production data upload this process entails the submission of labeling sales statistics and payment of the required fee fee i repeat this process entails the submission of labeling sales statistics and the payment of the required fee which can be done either quarterly or annually then last there are model continuation and model degradation these are somehow similar to the renewal process in which models are kept operative either by extending the validity period or the label period or reducing their star rating by one star monitoring of be notifications or alerts ensure timely timely awareness of such process now let us go through the interesting fact about the scheme next slide please performance test report remains valid for 3 years and test report from international labs any been aggregated in house lab and other labs are also acceptable here pe comes up with a robust surveillance which are check testing and the challenge testing in check testing be officer be officer runs random surveillance and in challenge testing is when any third person can challenge other brands product which are not as per prescribed standards now let's come let comes again to check more on the label from consumer point of view or let's check more on the label from consumer's point of view introducing a star introducing a stand out performer the energy efficiency label this label serve as your guide revealing that the energy saving potential of appliances through star ratings remember more stars means more saving then comes the annual energy consumption this indicates the energy consumed annually by the appliances and this factor varies between appliances then comes checking off the label period look for the validity period display on the star label to ensure star rating star rating relevance aim for validity of 6 months or long before purchasing any product then comes the product details which comprises of details like appliance types brand model number and few technical details followed by be registration number then comes the online verification of these details if required the consumer can cross check the details mentioned in the star label from the bee online portal or their mobile application let's move on to the next section which is india solar progress standard and labeling program 
introduce few solar products like grid connected solar inverters, solar photovoltaic modules, also known as solar panel or solar and last is the solar water heater, which is a big step forward for achieving energy saving of around 21 billion kilowatt hour and a significant reduction of 15 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions between 2024 to 2034. This is all from my end. Thank you for your attentive listening. I believe this session has been beneficial for you. Pragati, I'll pass on this session back to you. Once again, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Ms. Neetha, for providing your valuable insights on each of the agenda topics today. Your expertise has been instrumental in deepening our understanding of energy efficiency in India. We truly appreciate your contributions to our webinar. Now that we have had an insightful discussion on energy efficiency regulations and initiatives, let's shift gears. I'd like to take a moment to highlight why choosing Vincular for BEE standard and labeling scheme services and other regulatory compliance need is the right decision for your business. At Vincular, we provide a single window to cater all your compliance requirements from BEE standard and labeling scheme to a range of other regulatory needs. We have got you covered. We, we streamline processes for quicker product launches, giving you a competitive edge. We understand the importance of cost effectiveness. With Vincular, you can expect reduced cost for conformity without compromising on quality. Our nationwide presence ensures smooth compliance coordination. We uphold Righteous and professional work practices, ensuring the highest standards of service day. We maintain high standards with a customer centric approach. Benefit from insight of ex government officials in our panel. As an active member of industry organizations like MATE, METCOF, and CII, we help you ahead and keep you ahead of industry trends. Our commitment to excellence and customer satisfaction is evident in our business metrics. Let's go through them. With over 30,000 projects successfully completed till financial year 2023 and 24, Winkler has established a solid track record of delivering results. We take pride in our 700 plus happy customers who have entrusted us with their compliance needs and experience the difference our services make. At Vincular, we have a team of 65 experts at your service, each bringing their unique skills and expertise to the table to ensure your compliance journey is smooth and seamless. That concludes our webinar on understanding energy efficiency regulations in India. We hope you found the session insightful and valuable. Please stay connected with us for future webinars and events. The recording and presentation material will be emailed to you. I hope you are satisfied with the response in the chat box. In case any questions has been missed, please do not worry. It will be addressed via email. Also, don't forget to explore our blogs, newsletter, publications, etc. for valuable insights. The link has been shared with you in the chat box. Have a great day. Thank you.